Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zyutaku Gamer. I am a small variety content creator, and today we will be discussing the game Open Con To start off this review, I thought I should at least read off what the description is described as in Microsoft Score, so you get an idea of what this game is supposed to be. <clears throat> the description as is as follows. You're in the wild now. With your backpack stocked and your rifle loaded, you're ready to leave the state behind. Make sure you set up camp and a fire before the sun goes down. The wolves and bears are starving and you look like dinner. The ranger needs guidance from a skilled outdoorsman and Gary at the Snow Ridge Lodge could really use some more game to get him through the rough months. Are you open for the challenge of surviving in the open country? Hunt, fish, explore, and survive as you weather the elements and harsh conditions. Back your deers and load out. Every area of the map is beautiful and dangerous in its own ways. Be careful the animals aren't too excited to have a house guest. So your backpack and ATV better be ready at all times. Gary and the locals will give you plenty of tasks to keep you busy, and you might even make a four-legged friend along the way. Level up, better weapons, better equipment, and better vehicles. Are you worthy of being a called an outdoors master? Um, with that, you get a great idea in your mind. It sounds like it's going to be a blast, you're going to have so much fun, you're really going to enjoy this game. That's the reason that I bought it. I read that description, having a small open world, you're surviving off the land, you're hunting. Sounds like my type of game. But, oh, as I'll go into in a minute, it wasn't what I was expecting at all. The reason that I don't enjoy the game is not because it lied in its description. The description is perfect. It was a hunting game, and it's partially open world. You have RVs, ATVs, you know, there is the Gary and the Snow Ridge. The reason that I don't like the game is because it was just the few things that really bugged me. I was doing a quote unquote revival, new year, new me type thing on Twitch, so the open country was supposed to be my first game. And as I played through it, it just, it was so, there were just a few details that got to me and I think were probably brushed over in other reviews. For example, whenever there would be a rock ledge, you had no way of climbing up it, you had to go around, which often it took couple minutes to get around whatever it were simple jumps sometimes you wouldn't be able to do them because the game just wouldn't allow you if you were to take a simple fall sometimes like you do in real life without any injury you would get a sprain break muscle tear etc which would often have require you crafting something to fix which wasn't too bad but the medicine that you needed to craft was often hard to find at the beginning levels of the game um you can only carry 60 pounds to start off with the game, so most crafting things that you need to do, you have to be overweight. It means you can only walk to get the stuff, which if you've played any game where you can carry too much in your backpack, it is really annoying to walk like that for a long period of time. You often get dehydrated very fast, which means that often your water has to be found, which, I mean, I really didn't have any issues with that. So I couldn't find water, and then I got dehydrated. Um... It just felt like I took forever on missions as well. I felt like they weren't really... I felt like I was just confused the whole time. And that uh, I just... I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do, where I was supposed to go, etc, etc. Um, so, it was just like... I don't know if maybe I just didn't understand it, because it's not my type of game. Because I don't often play hunting simulators. It's just due to the fact that I'm doing a quote-unquote revival on my Twitch. It was not my first initial game that I wanted to play. And when playing... In conclusion, this is my review of Open Country. This is not my way of saying that it is a terrible game or that you should not play it. This is simply my experience after playing it for three days and why I stopped streaming it if you guys go to my stream. I do plan on coming back to it one day and I do think that it is possibly a good game, just one that I have to suffer through a little bit more before I can uh, fully enjoy it. And with that being said, Thank you for watching, and this has been the Utaku Gamer. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a great day. Sometimes a little bit overly realistic. You feel like you're a fragile little baby. But that is just my opinion, as I have said before. And I think that everybody should try out everything before they take my opinion. If you want to try it out, Open Country is actually on sale on Microsoft Store right now for $7.49. If you want to go look at it, USD.